What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Buckhannon, West Virginia at Middletown Homes and we're getting ready to check out this big old beautiful modular home called the General Jackson. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, this thing is a monster. I mean, just look how big it is. This is by Penn West and it is three bedrooms, two baths inside of 2,200 square feet. And my word, Wait until y'all see the kitchen in here. It's got these coffered ceilings that are just gonna, I mean, you're gonna absolutely love them. So beautiful exterior on the front of this home. Plenty of gables. You got this nice dormer right here too. And then the beautiful blue shutters. Now, if you want any more information on this model or Middletown Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search for this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we tour across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. Coming around to the side over here, you can catch a glimpse of one of those big windows upstairs. And then you do have a nice side door coming out of your utility room over here. So you can add a garage and just make this thing even beefier than it already is. And then coming around to the back, you got a couple windows back here and then you got this bump out which is an additional family room. It's got the sliding glass door right here, which you could build out onto a patio or porch back here. But the family room is really nice too, because it's got that uh, nice fireplace we're all looking for, you know what I mean? But, and then you can see the upstairs, got plenty of windows up there. So that thing just kind of goes all over the place. I don't think, I actually haven't been upstairs yet, so I don't quite know what it looks like. I don't know if it's finished or unfinished, but I'm pretty excited to get into it. And then coming around to the far side, again, more windows. All right, so when you first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with. Got a nice foyer right here. I'll go ahead and back you up so you can see the entryway. So you have the nice front door with a vinyl landing. And then on either side, you have a living room back behind us in your dining room uh, on the opposite side. And in the middle, you do have a nice coat closet. So nice fun space for everybody to come through. And we'll go ahead and start here in the dining room just because it's beautiful. I love the, the red paint that they went with. And then this coffered ceiling is just beautiful. It's very warm, very inviting. You got the accent lights up in each one of the little squares. You got this big window looking out into the front of the home and then a light fixture hanging down over the top of the table. Love it. And there's also plenty of room in here for you to add like, you know, all types of buffets or, you know, hutches, whatever, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can definitely put that in there. Plenty of room. And then from there, you come into the kitchen. You have a nice big island right here in the middle, perfect for sitting down, eating some breakfast, you know, prepping some food, or just kind of hanging out in the evening. I always like those kind of informal sitting areas, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to go sit at the dining room table just to kind of hang out and socialize. But plenty of cabinets. I almost opened up another drawer. Anyway, plenty of cabinets and drawers here on the island you got an outlet over here on this side and then as far as all of the space so you have plenty of counter space over there plenty of counter space over here just a little bit of everything so a great big spot for your refrigerator get into some of these cabinets you got a lazy susan over here in the corner and you got a fancy glass paned cabinet right there nice tile backsplash you got your sink looking out into, so this is your back den over here, a little sneak peek, you got the fireplace over there. But fun little cutout right there so you can socialize. And then next to that, you do have your dishwasher. And then along the far wall, you've got your oven with your microwave just above it. You got your range surface with this pot filler right here, super nice. And you got your range hood with cabinets on either side. And then along the back wall of the kitchen, behind this sliding barn door, you do have a pantry. So the kitchen's kind of got it all. That's what I'm talking about. All right, 
So just off of the kitchen towards the back of the home, this is that little bump out that we saw. You got your sliding glass door over here to your right. And then this is, this is probably gonna be like the family chill zone, you know what I mean? Everybody's coming in here to hang out. You got the fireplace with the beautiful stone surround. You got this great big mantle, put a gigantic TV up there, a cable hookup and all that fun stuff. Built-ins on either side. Pretty neat. It's pretty neat. And then going back through the kitchen, we'll go into the second living room. You know, and this one could be the same thing. It, it could be a nice cozy one. I see this one is more of like, everybody comes over here for Thanksgiving and they're, you got some kids in here playing video games while everybody else is hanging out in the back room. But great big spot. And again, you've got the front door right there. So we're just on the other side. And then in the back corner, you do have a stairwell that leads up to the second floor. Again, I haven't been up here, so I would imagine it's got a whole bunch of fun stuff happening. If you wanted to, you could finish this off because obviously it's unfinished. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. So this is the far side of the home. This could definitely be another bedroom. And then just a whole bunch of space up here. You got dormers, you got one dormer right here. You got another dormer over here on the far end, both usable. And then in the back, you've got another little, this could be like a, an office space up here in the back of the home. That'd be nice, it's kind of secluded a little bit. A little bonus room. This could be like the kids hangout spot. Let me know what you think about it and we'll head back downstairs. And then just off of that living room, you have this hallway right here, which leads down into the secondary bedrooms. We'll go ahead and go into the first bedroom back here that sits up back towards the back of the home and you can kind of see the bump out right there. Gives you kind of the proximity to that den area. And it's got a step-in closet in here. And then just out of that, let's see, this should be basement access, yeah. So if you had a basement, this would be the stairwell down there, or it could be a, you know, just a normal storage closet if you wanted it. And then into your first full bathroom, you got a single vanity with your vanity lights, your toilet, and then you got a shower and tub combo in here which sits right across the hall from the second bedroom. And this bedroom is a lot bigger than the first one. It also sits up towards the front of the home. Nice windows. And then into its closet. And then all the way at the side of the home, you come into your utility room, you got your washer dryer hookups. your furnace, and then look at all this counter space. Ooh, this is nice. So you do have counter space, wash basin, window, but in the corner over here, it's like the perfect spot for a freezer. You know what I mean? Does it have an outlet? No, but I'm sure that you could have them put an outlet right there and boom. And then you also have your, your back door uh, or a side door right here, which could lead into your garage. Oh, we're missing. Can't miss things. Water heater. So this is just behind the door that leads into the utility room. Now, if you see straight across over there, that's where we're headed. And this is the master suite and a suite it is. So two big windows right here sitting up towards the front of the home. Kind of a big space in here you put it they have a couch in here so that just you got a a queen size bed and a couch that kind of gives you the an idea of the amount of room you could definitely get a king size bed in here maybe a little sitting area and definitely a dresser or two and then just off of that 
You have a pocket door separating the master closet from the main bedroom. Got a built-in right here. And then all of your shelves. And then just around the corner is the ensuite and another big tub. My goodness, these things are massive. So it's got the high back over here so you can just kind of lay back, relax, put some candles up in the window sills, put some of those like wine racks at the bottom over there and then lock the door. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to come in. But beautiful windows in here. Obviously put yourself some blinds if you're gonna be taking some baths. And then you got a double vanity with medicine cabinets built behind the mirrors, which are nice. You got your toilet and then you do have a walk-in shower also. How do you, let me figure out how to open it. There we go. Brain skills, <laughs> gotta pull it. Anyway, um, shower head, tiles around, big old bench over there in the, on the side. Love it. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Middletown Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description, as well as, you know, over at timothyplivingston.com. As far as the price goes, this home starts at approximately $380,000. Of course, that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours. This guy is not a salesman nor affiliated with any of the homes that I show here on the channel, simply here for inspiration and entertainment purposes. But that being said, my name is Timothy. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.